Hi guys and welcome to another tech story. Today we're going to be talking about a very simple but very important topic in Python that is user input. Now this topic is crucial to know for when we start talking about conditional and boolean logic since user input will be used heavily in all the examples. So usually most programs require some sort of user input. And since in this course we'll be using the console, therefore we will be using the input function in Python to ask the user for their input and build our logic around it. So what is the syntax for that in Python? Usually we want our user input to be stored within a variable so that we can use it later on. Makes sense, right? So as we can see here first, we create a variable regardless of the name. I just called it var underscore name in this case. Then we will set that equal to the input function. The input function takes a string, which will then be displayed for the user in a form of a message in the console to get their input. And this function return whatever the user input is in the form of a string, i.e. text. So in this case, the message will be what is your input then the user will enter their input, which in this case is the word stuff. Now the variable var underscore name is equal to the string stuff. Now let's see this in action. Here I have my PowerShell console open, and I'm just going to type Python and hit enter to start typing Python code. Now in order for this to work, you need Python to be installed on your computer. If it's not, you just need to head over to python.org then click on downloads and download the appropriate version for, for your operating system. In my case, I have Windows, so I downloaded the Windows file. So let's get back to this. Now let's create that variable that we will then set to the input function or, the, or to the user input. I will name this variable song because I will ask the user for their, for their favorite song. And I will set this, as I mentioned, to the function input. And the message I will display to the user is please enter your favorite song. Of course, you can enter whatever message you like. And you can name your variable whatever name you like. And then I'll hit enter. And now we can see I got a prompt with my message, please enter your favorite song. And here I will type turn the page by Metallica, because that's one of my favorite songs. And I'll hit enter. Now let's check the variable song. I'm going to type the name song. Hit enter. And as we can see, it is set to the string or the text turn the page. Now I'm going to give you another example. I'm going to create a variable named number and I'm going to set this to a user, the user input. And the message I'll display to the user will be please enter a number space, hit enter, and I'm going to enter the number 11. Now I give this example because I wanted to talk about numbers, because as I mentioned before, the function input return a string and not a number. So it will take the number 11 and it will return it as text or string, not a number. So you can't actually do mathematical operations on this before you convert it to an integer, for example. So. If we take a look at the variable number now to see what's inside it, we can see it's a number 11, but it's between quotation, which means that this is a string. So if we try to do one plus number, we'll get an error because Python does not see this as a number. It actually sees it as a string. And here we can see the problem is that one is an integer here. And then we have the sign plus, and then we have the variable number, which is a string. And you can't concatenate an integer with a string. The solution to this, and this is a bit more advanced, we didn't talk about this yet, but I want to show you this. So I can do one plus, and then convert the string to a number or to an integer. And in order to do this, I'll use the function int between brackets, I'll put the variable that I want to convert, which is number, hit enter. And now the variable number has been converted to an integer and been added to the number one, and the result is 12. 
So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this and if you did please leave a like, share, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.